Hello everyone. You are going to get a behind the scenes um, at my workout today. I'm going to take you with me and uh, show you a little bit more of the things that you don't see when I'm at the gym. So now I am here. I'm ready to go. Just waiting for my trainer Tegan to come and retrieve me and I'm just sitting out front here. Got my mask and all sanitized up and ready to go. Tegan is coming to retrieve me. What are we doing today, Tegan? We're going to stand, then we're going to do some meal walking, and we're going to ride the horse today. Ooh, nice. All right, let's go. All right, so here I am back at physio at Ryu after two weeks of being away. I was here on Tuesday was the first day I was back after two weeks. And um, so we were talking about resting, right? And resting when your body needs to rest. And Kia was the one who uh, was helping me out when I came back. And so I just wanted you to talk to that and just like the strength and what I did in that uh, day last week. All right, so we started out a little bit heavier just to see where Vienne was at. Um, we went on our total gym, so we did some leg presses, and her strength was still there. However, she's just feeling still a little bit fatigued, so we decided to take it a little bit easier and do some stretching and just see where her body was at and what it was saying to her. So we worked on that stuff as well as working on our pelvic tilts, and her pelvic tilts were actually getting stronger, which was awesome to see. She was able to balance even on the wobble board and keep her pelvic tilt and sit nice and tall. And that was an improvement from like before the two weeks, right? Yes. So yes. I guess the takeaway from that is like, um, you know, when your body needs to rest, it's resting and it's for a reason, right? And so it was really encouraging for me to come back and see that I still had maintained and, and even got that increased strength a little bit. So that's really cool. And now today I'm working with Tegan. Come in. And, uh, <laughs> and it's really cool because um, Tegan and I, we have a lot of fun together and I, like I do with all the girls. Um, but when we, in, in my book I talk about how our weakest areas um, are also the opportunity for our biggest rewards, uh, you know, and stuff like that. And so, but it's also an area for the most frustration, right? I think it's all like about just overcoming stuff. Like even like I use this example, I think the end with you, but like in high school, like I struggled with math, but then every time like I would do good at math, like it was like the biggest reward. Like it's like something that you don't think you can do but then you do it right that it brings you the most like grief and frustration and then you can like overcome it and you're successful at it it's like I feel like that's when it's the most rewarding absolutely like if I was really good at it like you know at something like you said like if you're really good at something when you do well it's like eh, whatever right but yeah, like expecting that right yeah and so me you know even though it's my biggest challenge with my physical health when you do something really well and you have these little successes or whatever, you actually really celebrate them a lot more. And so takeaway is, yes, we all have weaknesses, but embrace them, work through them because they will be the most rewarding for you. Yeah. And I uh, love and these guys. It's worth it. Yes, it is worth it. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 